Okay guys, this video is super duper rushed because I gotta get to school and I woke up a bit late and um, yeah, I'm just gonna start this in my next arc too because a lot of you guys were requesting it and I'm super glad that you guys are enjoying the series because I'm enjoying it. I don't know if I'll do another part of this, but I think I will. Yeah, actually, I will. I will. I will. Um, and yeah, let's just get started really quickly. Marinette Stark too. So Marinette left. She left her speechless class and got into a limo, leaning into her best friend. The, they both had crushes on each other, and to everyone besides them, it was obvious. They flirted, hugged, hung out, blushed. They were almost as bad as Adrian. Almost. He had to be the most oblivious of all. Of one of all. The moment was interrupted as Tony, not so subtly, squeezed in between them. Sure, he loved both, but this was his bluebell, and he was going to be overprotective, even if it was Peter Parker. So what was that about, bluebell? The girl calling you a bully and stuff, he asked. She tensed and he could feel it. She stayed quiet as more and more of her family members listened to the conversation. Peter would admit, he was salty that Tony sat in between them, but would forgive and forget because this was a more more serious. I, uh, am fine. Yeah, I'm fine. It's not a big deal. It sounded as if she was convincing herself as she talked. I may not have much girl experience, um, but even I know that what that means. Especially with you. You always hide your feelings. Peter looked to her. I'd rather not talk about it now. Maybe later, though, she said and avoided eye contact with any of the heroes. Why don't we talk about a certain hammer being lifted? Tony suggested, sensing that he would not get anything out of her just yet. And the hammer was impressive and more lighthearted. Yes, little one, when is a good time for your coronation? After all, you know lifting the hammer makes you royalty, Thor said. You were serious about that? I didn't know I could. I mean, I always assumed I couldn't, so I never really tried. Turns out I was wrong, she started to think. So, what's up with you guys? I mean, we've talked a lot about me, she said. There were a few minutes from where Happy parked the jet. Well, you see, everyone had worried and scared looks. Uncle Rody. She used those darn puppy eyes that always got him. Bruce arrived from the ship after Asgard blew up, and it turns out a mad titan named Thanos is on his way to wipe half of existence, and he wanted to see, and we wanted to see you one last time because we're not sure how much of a threat he really is. He exclaimed quickly. He exclaimed quickly, falling for those eyes as usual. What the heck, Brody? Peter said. Marinette looked furious. Thanos. He wants to wipe out half the population. Why? She asked as a plan came to mind. He said it was to create balance, Tony answered. Knowing that looked far too well, he's never met a guardian. It's my job to keep balance, no one else's, which means I have to bone I have a bone to pick with him. Looks like I'm joining the fight. Alright, so that's it for this video. Um I know it's quite short and kinda rushed. I mean the script I did last night, but then I had to um go to bed and take a shower and so I um, just uploaded the script yesterday which I'm going to delete and upload this instead um, because it's done now and yeah there's not much to say I don't think I'll do a question on the video quite yet uh, but uh, see you